up, gang? What up, Smart Rapid Gang? A different video than ones I usually shoot. I want to talk a little bit more about venues, how venues work, how venues can work for you as an artist, um, even from the beginning up to where you can start making like $30,000 a month doing shows just selling, you know, not a crazy amount of tickets, but like how you can really do that. I'm gonna talk about how these venues work, how venue splits work, the different types of venues, and you know, a lot of that stuff that I really feel is very, very, very important information for artists like you who see themselves as a business, who's past the, oh, I'm just a rapper. Like, no, you understand, I'm a business. I can make a lot of money doing this, but you need to understand how business works. So I'm gonna explain how the venues work and everything like that in this video. I also wanna let you know that this isn't just for rappers. This information is for anybody who wants to book shows, sing, R&B artists, bands, anybody who wants to actually set up shows at venues, this video is going to show you how to do that because the business of, of being a venue, bringing in artists and selling tickets is the same. A lot of venues that do rock music will also do rap music, hip hop music, R&B. Whoever can bring an audience in there is who they want to have in there, okay? Okay, first and foremost, venues are a business, okay? Anything that's out there, there's a, if there's a storefront, there's a brick and mortar, if anything is out there, it's there to make money. Somebody who only invests their money and time into it generally because they wanna make money and additionally, you know, the passion. I like being the person that owns this. So a venue is there. Every night that a venue is operational, that they have an artist in there or that they have an event in there, they need to profit, they need to make money. So then you have to think, how much money does it cost for this A to be operational every single night that it's, that it's up? including paying the people, the lights, the rent on the place that they don't own the building and everything like that. So you gotta look at it from a business perspective, okay? And that's why when there's a venue, they wanna make sure that there's as many tickets sold as possible because obviously the more tickets sold, the more money they make, the more people comes through the doors, the more buzz that gets generated for that venue by word of mouth, as well as um, more alcohol being sold and more merchandise from the artist. And we're gonna talk about splits and stuff like that in just a minute. When an artist like yourself goes into a venue, there's a couple options and ways that they will allow you to perform. Let's say that you're the headliner in this circumstance, okay? Headliner meaning the main person. You're not opening for the person, but you're the main person. Now, as the main person, as the headliner, there's a couple options, and I'm gonna go over those with you as how a venue would make the money from you or you know the deal that you would make with the venue that you're going to have to get used to making. So option A is going to be, and this is if it's an option, not all venues offer the, both of these options. Sometimes they only offer one type of option, but these are the different types of options for different venues. It's going to vary, okay? But for the first one is going to be where you can actually rent out the venue for the night, okay? So it's gonna have a set rate for how much money it's gonna cost to rent the venue. Now, if the venue costs $2,000 for the night to rent, well, if you sell $8,000 in tickets, you are gonna make $6,000, right? It's really simple, basic math. So let's talk about option B real quick. Option B is where they do a split, 50-50 split, meaning they get 50%, you get 50%, or there's a 60-40 split, and that can go in either direction for them or for you. It just depends on who you are, how many people you can bring to the door, because obviously if they're like, well, this guy can sell 300 tickets, we'll be more than happy to split those sales with you, okay? Because if the tickets cost $10 a ticket and you sell 300 tickets, that's $3,000. Okay, and if you did a 50-50 split, you can make $1,500, okay? That's not bad for a little bit of promotion and a 45 minute performance from you, okay? 1,500 bucks, come on. Now let's say that you want a tour. If you're touring like mad crazy because you're somebody who can actually go on a regional tour or a national tour, imagine that you go on a tour that consists of 20 dates like this and you can sell 300 tickets in every market or more, you're gonna make at least $1,500 a show and at 20 shows, you're talking about $30,000. Okay, think about that for a second. We're talking, you can do 20 shows in a month if it's all set up properly. Okay, you can make 30 grand in a month. And I'm not, there's no reason for me to inflate these numbers. You know what I'm saying? This is a real, this is basic math, 1500 times 20 shows. Shit, 1500 times 20 shows that you do in a year. Okay, now again, if you're the headliner, like I said, the person who's the main artist, not the opener, usually the show is set up you know, two to three months in advance, that's usually how you would get the show booked is you let them know in advance. And the reason for this being in advance is so that A, the promoters can promote the show and B, the venue can promote the show to their, the people who are already coming to the shows. You ever been to a show and they hand you that flyer? That's what that flyer is. That flyer that you throw away or you peek at real quick, you throw it away. Well, that's the venue's attempt to let you know who the upcoming artists are. And if it's a name they recognize, well, then that person may come back and actually come to your show. 
And here's the most important factor right now because I'm going to assume you as an artist are not at the level where you're going to be a headliner. You're probably more interested in knowing opener information, like how does the opener stuff work, okay? Well, this is another way that they help sell tickets, okay? Generally, if you go to see a major artist, they usually have, what, five to eight openers, okay? And the reason that there's five to eight opener opening artists is because the venue will sell tickets to the artist who wants to open, okay? And let me give you a quick example. Let's say you wanted to open for me when I go on tour, okay? And the venue, you don't want to, you want to open for me? The venue's gonna say, okay, here, I need you to buy 10 of these tickets, okay? They're $10 each. So you're gonna give the venue $100, all right? And they're gonna give you 10 tickets. And your job, it really isn't costing you any money, as long as you can sell 10 tickets. Cause you're gonna go out there and you're gonna sit, you're gonna take those 10 tickets and you're gonna say, hey brother, hey mom, hey aunt, come see me perform. Go to, go to school or go to your job and say, hey, I'm performing on the fourth, you know, I'm opening for Rob Level or whatever artist you're gonna open for, you know, to try to incentivize them to come. And you're gonna make your money back by selling them that ticket back for $10. You get 10 tickets, you can sell them for $10. But they, what the venue does, they say, look, you don't have to sell these for $10, you can sell these tickets for $15. So if you can sell these tickets to friends and family for $15, you're gonna profit 50 extra dollars plus you get the performance okay that's how this works you're not paying to play you're paying to prove your worth and then you go sell your tickets and this is why this requires a little bit of hustle for upcoming artists but also why this is great for the headlining artists is because the upcoming artist like you goes out there and if there's five openers and they sell 10 tickets they're gonna drive 50 more people into this building that may not be a fan of the headliner and now the headliner can gain fans as well but you also get to gain fans from all of the headliners fans okay if you, I don't know if you ever thought about it like that, but this is, this is really how it works. Real quick, for your safety, if a venue ever asks you to pay to perform in front of people, do not do it. There are certain circumstances where, I mean, if you want to go on a, on a tour with an artist, you, you're going to have to ch chalk up some money for that, plus you get to pay for your hotel stay and a lot of other stuff. Not going to go crazy into that, but if a venue nearby says, give me $500 and you can open for this person, do not do that, because that's not how it works, and it's not worth the money. Now real quick, let me mention a way that you can make a lot more money, okay? Almost double your money, if not more than that, every time you do a show, especially if you're a headliner, okay? And this is also a reason why um, I didn't mention it before, but a lot of the venues, when they do that split, they'll do the door split, or even when you rent out the venue, sometimes they do ask you or require that you give them a percentage of the merchandise sales. Okay, so if you sell, you know, so for instance, it'll be 10 or 20%. So if you sell $1,000 in merchandise and it's 20%, you have to give them $200 of that $800. But your margins are so good on merchandise, that's not really gonna be a big deal. You're still making $800. It was part of the price, it was the price of doing business. All right, but let me let me give you some numbers here to get you a little bit excited and explain to you why merchandise is so valuable for artists, especially on a tour. When you tour, if you can sell 300 tickets to your show, you're the headliner, you sell 300 tickets, 300 people come through the door. Let's say that just 10% of those people were to buy merchandise, okay? So 10% of 300 is 30 people. If just 30 people out of those 300 people, and it will probably be more, will buy merchandise if they're really a fan of yours and they actually bought a ticket. If just 30 of those people bought a hat or a t-shirt that costs $30, you just made an extra $900 a show, okay? So if you do 20 shows, what's that, $18,000? And they're probably, you're probably gonna sell more than that because like I said, that's only a 10% of the people buy. And that doesn't include people buying meet and greets from you to, to meet you or people buying autographs from you or autograph CDs or posters or people uh, buying bundles that comes with a hat and two t-shirts, right? And you autograph them because you're there at the table and it incentivizes them to buy. Like, you make a lot of money off of merchandise. Now this is a very basic wrap up of all of this information. Really this video, honestly, this is actually the intro video of my course on how to book your own shows and grow your fan base from booking shows and creating these relationships in order to start going on national tours. This is actually a course that I have, but this is like one of the intro videos that gives you the information on this type of stuff. And in the course, I even, I call venues and I'm like, hey, blah, 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 blah. How do we, how, how can I get the show? Who, who's opening? What show can I? open for you know can I get 10 tickets can I be one of the primary openers and can I get this time slot like I actually show you guys this stuff I have email templates that you copy and paste change like a couple words and you can send them to all of these venues the people who run the venues and choose people who open the shows I show you how to fix your social media how to get your EPK right how to get your profile right so that you can actually like make sure that they want to choose you to open and I mean this is super valuable if you're in your hometown and you want to start branching out 
this course is gonna help you a lot, okay? And it's exclusive to my Smart Rapper community. I actually made it as one of the extra courses. I already had 16 courses, and then I'm like, my team's like, that's enough courses. I'm like, no, it's not enough courses. I wanna make as many courses as I can so that everybody really sees the value in being part of my community. And the community is new right now, so I'm very excited to just keep getting these incredible pieces of content out there in these courses. But this course is gonna show you to do everything from A to Z, no problem, as long as you have the right mental attitude, and the right, you know, and you're, you know, and you really want to make it happen. You got the hustle and the fire under your ass to really make it happen. There's no reason that you can't book shows because, like I said, if you let them know, I can sell ten tickets. Then, like, you can sell ten tickets. Let me check out your music. Oh, not bad. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, you can perform. I'm gonna give you ten tickets. You're gonna buy ten tickets for hundred dollars. You gonna make one hundred fifty dollars with this, right? I show you how to do all this stuff in the course. All right, so if you want to check that out, I'm gonna put a link below for you uh, to the course as well as to the community, so you can check both of them out. And then I'm also going to have uh, a course on how to book your own national tours. But I'm gonna bring in experts that actually do that for a living to explain how to do that process because they're a lot more seasoned with that. I'm sure that you want to get to the point where you're making thirty thousand dollars doing twenty shows plus the merchandise. Imagine making sixty thousand dollars. Imagine making sixty thousand dollars a year just from just a year from your music. Like that's beautiful. You can live off of that. You and your family can live off of that and eat off of that. Okay, right? That's what I'm trying to provide this value, and I always have. I release a video a day on the Smart Rapper channel for a reason to consistently provide value, and I'm just going above and beyond to continue doing that. All right. I'm Rob Level. Go ahead, hit me with a like. Please hit me with a comment. What do you think about this? I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about how venues work and stuff like that. I do apologize that this video is a bit long. I didn't expect it to be this long. Hit the subscribe button and uh, check out all the video other videos on the channel. We're going by like 15,000 subscribers a month right now. It's going crazy. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Keep hustling.